Okay guys, I am trying my hand at cutting a larger sign for my front porch. It's going to be uh, the wel one of the welcome signs that sits on the front porch and it's 12 inches wide and 4 foot tall. I um, did paint the board kind of an off-white and then a little distressing with paint on it. And this one's going to say W-E-L-C. And the O is going to be the shape of a pumpkin and then M-E. And the next uh, part of this video will probably be me cutting with my Cameo 3 the stencil. Okay, here I am working on putting it, the uh, stencil down, and next time I do this, whoops, got a finger in there, um, I'm using this, I'm going to use this piece over and over to transfer it, but I'm happy to cut them into pieces, you know, in strips, so it's easier, I don't have to use a big, waste a lot of my transfer tape, I'll just... I cut it and then I'll match that up, put the transfer tape over the C, and then put it down and continue on down doing that with each one of these. But next time I, I know on my software, I'll try not to make you dizzy, um, I'm going to make cuts with my knife on each one so it will be cut individually and straight and even. And that will make this much easier putting down live and learn okay I'll show you when I'm finished okay, here's what I meant by putting the transfer tape on I put the transfer tape over the, t the C and I'll take the backing off and then I will match it on here and that way it holds this all together the insides you'll it's hard to put transfer or put these down because pieces in the middle, like the C, come up, and like on this E. This holds it all together so I can get it on the board. And I'm doing it individually to make it easier. Thought I'd come back and explain myself a little better on that one. Okay, I have it down on there with the transfer tape. Now I'm going to show pulling the transfer tape up. Doing this one handed is hard. That's why I. Okay. There, I have a C down now. I better do that. I was off just a little bit. It's, not, it's just my needs, so it won't matter. Okay. Okay, I thought I'd show you me. Um, I'm stenciling the some of it. Just a little bit of it. Not all of it. It would be a long process. And I have just a styrofoam plate here. I dip this in the black. Kind of pounce it off. If I think I have too much, then I'll use a piece of paper. Paper towel to blot it on. Okay, and I'll start in the middle in case it's too much. Because I'm going to try not to get any bleeding under the stencil. I'm just using a makeup sponge here and just regular black acrylic paint and every time I bounce I think my camera is bouncing okay anyways I finished this out and show you how it looks I think I'm gonna have to switch out sponges for some reason I'm getting little marks be careful and not 
let it bleed under the tape. And here's some I've already done. Oh. And I'll show you a little bit when I pull it, when I start pulling them off. Okay, I have it all stenciled with my paint. And I was going to pull a few of these off just to show you. There's the W. I guess I'll go this way to tell a little more. Let's see what I'm doing. L. Move my paint. C. Pumpkin is an O. Or the O is pumpkin. M and my E and I can't scoot in for further chair and walls there anyways there's what I have so far all right I'll check back with you okay I finally got it finished and I decided to put some uh, flowers and stuff at the top the fall. I didn't do the back side yet and I'll do it later. And that's my welcome sign for my front porch. And I did also, I did this couple, well probably about a year ago on the uh, bucket there. I always put flowers in that for summer and fall. And huh, this one over here, I've done that probably I would say 10 years ago. I do have to renew it every so often, paint it, and put stuff on it. But yeah, did that too. So there's the way it turned out. <laughs>